it wasn't supposed to be like this. This wasn't the way. It was, this wasn't supposed to happen like this. Welcome, traveler. This box has just arrived from Germany. Or it's Germany, I, I believe it's pronounced. I don't know my geometry very well. I'm joking. This is uh, from Toman from Germany. This is going to be my first look at a Harley Benton guitar. So I just spoiled it. Good night. I've done that joke too many times. Yeah, before I get into this, this was, uh, I had ordered, so we're in, um, we're in the end of 2020. Back in August, I put in an order. I wanted to get their, their Tele style. I believe it's the TE25, no, 52, T52. Can't remember the model number. Anyways, it's been back ordered a number of times. So I'm still waiting for that. In the meantime, I've been checking out like Gibson Epiphone stuff. So this is kind of related to that. And uh, I'm just going to show the box. It just literally came in the door. Literally, that's what the kids say these days. You can see it's got a little, uh, little worse for wear, but it, I hope it's okay because it's double boxed. But that's why unboxings are, are what they are. So we're going to unbox it. This is going to be an unboxing and first impressions. And you're going to see what it is in just a second. What's the... Okay, that's going to be this side up. Now we're going to take that open. No script. He doesn't script his videos. Who does script videos? When I say script, I mean I write down ideas. I know what I'm going to do a video about. But I'm not reading a teleprompter. I'm going to cut myself on these German staples. Oh, come on. What a whip. Oh, these are killer staples. They're going to hurt me. Is this in another bag? I guess we'll find out. Box, I meant. Okay, yeah. Looks like we're in something. Oh, I ordered the one that has a gig bag. So, if this spoils anything, because it was like, you know, uh, I don't know, 10 bucks more for a gig bag. So, here we go. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to clean up for a second here. You just watch this for a minute. Don't look at my butt. Come on. Be real. To level. Um, I'm trying not to forget anything, because I guess, uh, okay, so yeah, uh, over the years, Harley Benton, that name keeps coming up. And people are like, have you tried a Harley Benton? And I'm like, no, I haven't tried a Harley Benton. And uh, I'll be honest, the name Harley Benton doesn't really, it's like the worst name ever. What is it, a motorcycle car? That's just my opinion. It's just a name, right? I don't open this bugger. Oh, it's got more staples. Nope, it's got tape. Let's just forget about that. Let's focus on the positive. It's not a motorcycle. Oh, I'm going to do one thing. Okay, first of all, no, I will show you something. I'm going to show something that I don't think anybody ever shows. At least I, I've never seen it before. I'm going to, we're going to open this guitar, take a look at it quickly. Then I'm going to show you a full price breakdown. So I live in Canada. I'm going to break down everything. So I bought this. This wasn't given to me by Harley Benton. Just want to make that clear. This is not a sponsored video. Um, I bought the guitar. And I'm going to show you exactly how much it costs, because that's one of the questions that people have. They're like, um, is it going to cost me a lot to get it to uh, Canada or, or to the U.S.? And that's always a mystery. So I will reveal, there'll be an unsolved mystery solved. Okay. Oh, uh, that's pretty good. I was like, what? 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 Germany, come on. It's not in German. I'm going to put that on my guitar case. Here we go. That's well, got some weight to it. That's for sure. Um, I guess, you know, it's well packaged. Are we going to have the squeaky plastic? I hope not. No squeaky plastic, please. No squeaky plastic. So you'd think I'd want like a telly style thing, right? Well, this is what I got first. This is my intro to Harley Benton. I'm just going to keep changing the name. There we are. And this is... I haven't even seen it yet. You've seen it before me, flipping it over. 
Okay, look at that. Look at that. Oops, I just lost it. This is probably the, the instructions. Oh, no, it's a check. They verify it. Quality inspection. This instrument has been thoroughly checked before dispatch. There we go. Keep you for the collection. That's cool. Um, if you noticed right away, this is pretty much like the uh, Les Paul Jr. from Epiphone that I just got recently. But this looks more like the Gibson. Even the headstock, everything about it. So there you go. That's it. That's the whole video. Thanks for watching my channel. I'll go away. No, I'm just kidding. First impressions? Our first impressions. That's what I always say. It's, it's nice. I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's like, uh, it's pretty much what I expected. And uh, we'll plug it in in a second here. I'll plug it in. Try it out. I want to make sure it works, right? Check it out. It's, this packaging is bugging me. Get out of here! Stupid packaging. I do not expect that to be in tune. There's no way. I don't expect that. It looks nice. Like, I'm just looking at it quickly here. I don't see any, uh, any issues to complain about. Um, I think I like the top on the, uh, the Epiphone a little bit better. Let's do just a quick close-up. I'll have some more videos in the future. Which one do you like better there? I think this one looks more like a Gibson. But what do I know? I'm a noob. Ah, oh, look at all this mess. I hate all this styrofoam and junk and sh shiitake mushrooms. This is QC Check by John. Thank you, John. Quality guitar since 97. I had no idea they'd been around that long. Is it just my mind or is the headstock not straight? Is that possible? I don't know if that's just in my head. It's in my headstock. It's made in Indonesia. Uh, I think the Epiphones are made in China. Oh, do I get a... Okay, I got a gig bag with that. I'll open up the gig bag in just a second. Um, the thing I really want to do though, we're going to talk about something first and then we'll get into some tones. So I'll have uh, timestamps if you're just looking to hear it or you want to see something about it. Oh, i got to keep that plastic on. That's, that's very important. Don't want to like, ruin the plastic. Okay, here's what I was going to talk about. Um, you know what? I'm going to move you. Jaws. Never seen Jaws. No joke. I've seen parts of it on TV. Never seen the whole movie. There we go. You can just sit there. We're going to talk about you for a second. Here's the full price breakdown. Um, oh, did I even say what the guitar is called? It's, uh, it's uh, what do they call it? They're, they, have a, they have a name for it. Where the hell is it? You know what? Um, it's electric guitar. This is, the, this is the import duty fee page, so I don't have it written down. This, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. There it is. I think it's an SC. Do they call it the SC? Maybe if you did some research, hey, this is how I like to do unboxing things. My unboxing stuff is like, I didn't look into stuff. I just, it comes in and I'm like initial impressions and uh, this is the real deal. Okay, so here's the price breakdown. I'm going to talk about euros first and then, yeah, so I got euros, Canadian, and then uh, American. Because people want to know this, right? If you've watched some channels, people get guitars in and it's just like, it's not like I said Tarzan. People get guitars in to their channel. They probably get them for free. They didn't pay anything, and uh, which is fine. You know what I mean? As long as you disclose that and it's part of what you do, who cares? But um, I want people, there's regular people like me that are, well, I'm not regular, but I mean, I eat a lot of fiber. Stop. Um, how does this brain do that? Okay, here we go. So the price on the site, 178.37 euro. Am I saying that even right? Shipping to Canada, 58. Uh, 58 22 euro, so a grand total of 236 uh, euros and 59, what's the cents? I, I want to say dollars and cents. 236.59 euros. I'm going to put this all on the screen, so I'm going to keep it up here. It's going to be like, oh man, I'm going to be up all night putting up these graphics. 236.59 euro. What does that convert to? Canadian. Well, it converts to uh, 378, dollars and five cents Canadian. And then, because it came into Canada and uh, came into borders, the, what? It came across the border. We have something called taxes and duties and all that stuff. Government charges. 
$55.21, okay? That's a combination of $16.90 duty and $38.31 taxes. So $55.21, and then uh, the UPS that came through the United, uh, whatever UPS stands for, underwear proxy syndrome, I don't know. Um, UPS charged $11.30, which was $10 brokerage fee, and then taxes $1.30. Total, man, this is taking way too long. You just want to know the numbers. The total, $66.51 Canadian, plus the $378.05. Grand total, how much did the, Jesus, how much did you just pay for? How much? What was the total? Canadian, $444.56, okay? Um, if I convert that to American right now, probably do that. Hey Google, convert $444 Canadian to American. According to currency converter, convert currency 444 Canadian dollars to USD. How much is $444 Canadian dollar to US dollar? Yeah. $338.266 USD. There you go. Stop talking. $338 American. Man, I spent way too long in this part. Why did I even care? People want to know that, right? People want to know, know that. No, 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 that. Let's open this uh, big bag first. Gig bag. Why did I get a gig bag? Because um, I'm not gigging. No, it was like ten bucks more. So I thought, yay. You know what? Is this gonna? Is this gonna? Gonna? Is this guitar gonna be a flipper or a keeper? We'll see. I, I don't know right now. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a flipper guitar. Unless it blows me away, but that means I'll be dead. All right, here we go. Let's, let's plug it in and shut up. Warm up the tubes, get a click track going here. This is 60 minutes. It's feeling a lot like, oh, what am I doing? It's feeling a lot like the Epiphone. Scratch your, scratchy, but that's okay. Oh. Tunematic bridge, is that what you call these? Both knobs work. They're uh, very, very small knobs. So she said. I like it. It's very much like the Epiphone. Now the question is, how much different is a Gibson? It's $2,000. Oh, my hands are really dirty. Nice. Not just saying that. Uh, pretty cool. 
too bad, weight wise. Uh, seven pounds, seven and a half, maybe seven and a half. Nice. It's nice. It's nice. Hey, so there we go. Uh, it says Roswell pickups. I guess that's their in-house brand, right? Not on, only am I a noob to Epiphone Gibson, I'm a noob to Inspired. Well, hey, that made me think of something. The, the Epiphone are inspired by Gibson, so I guess this would be inspired by Gibson. Harley Benton inspired by Gibson? Inspired. Motivated. There we go. That's cool. Hey, it looks nice. I'm going to have a look up all the specs because I'll do a follow-up video with uh, Deep Dive. This was just my first impressions. And uh, this happens a lot. I don't know if you guys have experienced this. It's dirty. It's either dirty frets or dirty fretboard or dirty strings. That's a darker fretboard definitely than the, uh, I think it's Indian Laurel on the Epiphone. Keep looking at it. It's over here. There we go. That's pretty cool. Uh, good first impressions, right? I hope that was useful. I hope the, uh, the money thing was useful, even though that took way too long. Man, that took way too long. <laughs> it's the end of the day, though. It's uh, 7.30 in the middle of the night. Figure that out. I don't know what that means. It's dark here now, right? It's, it's, we're getting into the fall. That's going to do it. That's going to do it for this video. Harley Benton, you haven't let me down at all. It's exactly what people told me. They said you'd be impressed. I think they said I'd be blown away, maybe. No, but actually, nobody said that. I just made that up right now. I'm really looking forward to the telly when it does come to. That was supposed to be here. Uh, so that's been like 10 weeks, I think, I've been waiting. August 25th. No, that's about seven, seven weeks. I don't know. My math isn't that great when I don't pay attention. I was so poor growing up, I couldn't even pay attention. That's it. We're done. A uh, couple, couple of new things I'm going to mention. Um, and it's like affiliate stuff. So I do have an affiliate link with Toman. I also have a brand new affiliate link with Sweetwater. So obviously you can't get these kind of guitars at Sweetwater. You can get them at Toman. And uh, I don't really promote that stuff that often, but they're always in the description. So I, I just like to mention it once in a while. And affiliate links, what that is, completely what that is, is uh, completely um, straight up, straight up answer. Just say it. It's like you click on that link and, and a, a magical cookie, chocolate chip cookie goes in your computer. It tracks you and it links back to my account. And uh, say you spend a hundred bucks, I get like a little chunk of that, like a little, little tiny chunk. And that's what it, that's what it does. It's like a, a perk for me to promote the company if I like them. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have uh, signed up for Toman if I didn't think they were a decent company. They're like the biggest company. So if you're in the UK or on like the the east of the world, that's probably where you're going to be buying stuff. And if you're over here, especially in the states, you're probably going to be looking at Sweetwater. <clears throat> Sorry, I just had uh, <clears throat> stir fry from Costco. Um, why did I mention that? Oh, the, the reason I mentioned all that, so affiliate links, they, they contribute money to the channel and people use the term, Hey, support the channel. I'll just be straightforward. This isn't my full-time job. This isn't what I do. I have a full-time job that supports my living. Um, is this something I would like to do full-time as a career? Absolutely. But it today it's not, not a reality, but maybe in the future, we'll see, we'll see how things go. Anything's possible this year, 2020, 2020 is the year of dreams and nightmares all mixed together. Um, so yeah, I'm just mentioning, use the affiliate links if you like to. Don't use them if you don't like that stuff. I also have a, a, a store where you can get shirts and that's another way to support the channel. When I say support the channel, I use that money to do stuff like this, buy things like this. Everybody says the same thing. Uh, this isn't cheap this, to do this stuff. Uh, cameras, lighting, I'm always upgrading the lighting. Uh, memory cards, hard drives. I just had a hard drive die. I had to buy a new one. All that stuff that nobody wants to hear about. I'm mentioning because I'll just say it once, twice, maybe once in this video. Anyways, that's going to do it. That's my spiel. I don't know what that word means. That's my rant. It's not a rant. It's not a negative. Um, take it or leave it. Skip over this part. Maybe you didn't even watch, but um, thanks for watching. Again, I'm Landon. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, click like, do all those things. Uh, turn on notification bells. If those even work anymore, I hear they work sometimes. If you're already subscribed, unsubscribe and resubscribe. I don't know what that does. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Just, just do whatever. Uh, maybe it, maybe it refreshes something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So cool. Harley Benton. I like you. Thank you. Don't like the name though. I'll, I'll just keep saying that the name doesn't mean anything to me. Motorcycle 
Harley Davidson, uh, ben Bentley, Benton. Is that what they did? If, they, if you guys know, I know there's this whole joke about who is Harley Benton. I've seen that, that meme on, uh, on the Toman channel. But anyways, good stuff. Hey, it's got my approval. I don't have a, an official uh, thing that I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's good. First impressions are good. Come back. I'll do a deep dive video in the future. Stay tuned for that. And then I'll also do a video where I'm comparing the two here, the Epiphone against that. That's going to be fun. And maybe one day a Gibson. I don't know. That's that's going up there in price. 2000 bucks for a single uh, P90. I don't know. We'll see. No promises. Use the affiliate links. Buy me a Gibson. No, we cutting that out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. I didn't mean that. Slipped out. All right. As always, play guitar and have fun. See you in the next video. Take care. Did I mention I'm from Kirkland Lake, Ontario? Home of Alan Thicke? Thought I'd mention that. From the people that brought you Jaws. Check.